Hello friends. <laughs> Elfie says hello. Look, say hi guys. Hi guys. I just got home from work. Um, the kids organized to have a sleepover at mum and dad's tonight. So Tones and I are flying solo. Woohoo, it's date night. Um, we were gonna go on a date night. To the movies, I really wanted to go see Elvis the Pelvis, but um, we're a bit tired. So I think we're just gonna do a real cruisy night tonight. We are gonna go out for dinner. We're cheating on Nando's and we're going to Schnitz. Um, and then we're gonna just come back here and watch a movie in our upstairs movie room where we've got that really big TV because we've not yet watched a movie there. So we're going to do that, aren't we, Alfie? And that way we can be home with our little boy and snuggle with him on the couch. What do you want to watch, Elf? What do you want to watch? I don't know why he keeps sniffing my pants. What's on there? What do you smell? What can you smell? So we've got lots to do this weekend. I've got some shopping I want to get done. I've got a lot to clean in this house. <laughs> Look how dirty my island is. And behind me, we've got the laundry over here. Just never ending, but anyway. I'll give you an outfit of the day. This is my Shein jumper that I love. My new Kmart um, leggings. Well, they're kind of thicker than leggings. I think they were in like the work section. So what do you call those? Work leggings? I don't know. And my new runners from Fitville. So comfy. Love these little babies. So yeah, just nice and cash. Let's yeah. go. We both just went with the chicken parmies and chips. How original. Mine's in the shape of a love heart. <laughs> Tony's got baby and he's yum yum yum. Dinner was mwah. We are now going to the reject shop to try and find some pots for our backyard because we can't seem to find any like cool, big, sturdy pots anywhere. And I saw some the other day, so fingers crossed they have them. They're a little bit too small for what we need. This one's quite nice. They also have these ones too. They're a decent size, they're only $35. Oh, that one's better, $59. It's nice and big. No luck, but I really like this one. It's got a really pretty kind of flowery pattern on it. So we're gonna go over to Coles now and get some yummy nibbles to watch with our movie. We back. I got my favorite, what is this? Lolly Gobble Bliss Bombs Nutty Caramel Popcorn. If you haven't tried this, you need to try it. It's so good. Even Elfie says yes. <laughs> no, you can't have it. Look at this. Indy hung up some of her vines up on our shutters. I'm gonna have to try and get those down when she's not around. I should do it tonight while she's away. Yes, we are gonna get all comfy and cozy. Elf. Here's your blankie. Do you want to sit in the middle? Do you want to sit in the middle on your blankie? That's nice. He's like, nope, I hop on your, on your blanket. He just wants my popcorn. Ah, ah, ah. This is going to be a nightmare. Anyway, we are going to watch this movie and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, you guys. Do you hear that sound? That is the sound of silence. It is just you and me, baby. Tones has taken the kids to sport this morning. I've got a few things I need to get done today. So they've all gone with him. It's Sunday. I didn't vlog yesterday because we really just didn't do much. We kind of just hung out at home. Our mum and dad came around. Mum made this chocolate cake and it had a secret ingredient in it that we had to guess what it was. <laughs> it turned out to be mushrooms. How random. Um, but anyway, they brought that around. We just had coffee and cake played, you know, so I need to pack up all of the messes from yesterday. Um, today I'm also going out for lunch. 
there we go i am catching up with my mother's group friends so these are the group that i was put together with when indy was born nearly 12 years ago it's crazy um and we're all going out for lunch it's so funny how like when we first started out until probably eight or so oh probably less than that oh would it be seven or eight years ago we did lots of things like park trips with the kids and um and like play centers and things now we just go out without the kids we go out for dinners and girls nights and lunches and things and today we're going to a winery in my town i've not actually heard of this winery before but i'm excited to try it out because who doesn't love a good little bit of wine and cheese on a sunday Mwah. Oh, and actually, Tones went down to Ikea yesterday. That's what happened yesterday morning. And he picked up another chest of drawers for our bedroom because we just didn't have enough storage up there. I am going to show you guys our bedroom soon. It is my mission in life to get this bedroom sorted out this week. And then I'll be able to show you guys. There's no way I'm showing you now. It's just hideous. <laughs> So here's my little outfit of the day, what I'm wearing today. I'm just wearing this little white fox long sleeve top and my new skinny jeans. And yes, I am still rocking the skinny jeans for life. <laughs> I love skinny jeans. I'm never going to give them up. I don't care what anyone says. I mean, I still do love my like 90s style jeans, my mum and boyfriend jeans, but Every now and then I like to crack out a pair of good old skinny jeans and give them a bell. That's what's happening today. Oh, let me go and show you Alfie. He's like living all of his dreams now on the couch. Are you being a big old lazy boy? Are you being a lazy sleepy boy? Yeah. He loves you. I loves your little stinky butts. You're snuffing your little nose all over the couch. Why are you so handsome? Why are you the handsomest boy? Hey, I love you. I love those little chops. You're so cute. He's like, just leave me alone, woman. It's a hard life, isn't it, Alf? Yes. I see your little tail wagging. You're the happy boys. Look at him over there. He is all set for the day. Um, before we head off, I have some really beautiful clothing pieces that I need to show you guys. So I'm going to head down to my little filming room and I'm going to show you these pieces. Okay, you guys. So I am super excited to be teaming up with Pendle and Pup today to show you some really gorgeous spring summery inspired pieces. I personally have shopped and purchased from their brand for many many years now and I've loved everything that I've received so it's a real honor to be working with them today. Plus they've also given me a discount code for you guys which is tribe20 to receive 20% off site-wide including sale items and that will take you all the way through to the end of October. So definitely go ahead and utilize that code if you're wanting to pick up something from the site. So we might go ahead and begin with some of the accessories first. Of course every good outfit needs a good handbag. This one's called the Iris Woven Bag in Tan. I just love woven bags, especially in the warmer weather. I think they're just such a nice touch to any outfit. This one is a really decent size. It fits a lot in it, and I love that it has a zipper to the top, so your belongings are nice and secure inside. And that's the inside of it. So it's really, really deep. You can fit a lot of things in there. And it has a little side pocket. Let me see if I can show you. To the inside as well. It's a really beautifully made bag. I love the colour of it. Just that neutral kind of a tone goes with everything. And I really like the handles on it as well. They're a lighter colour and they're a wood finish. So... 
such a cute piece and it's going to go really well with the outfits that I've chosen to show you today. I also grabbed some gorgeous shoes. As you can see, there's a little bit of a trend happening with the colour here. These are the Ivala heels in Sahara size 7. They're so, so gorgeous. I love the nice big kind of a chunky heel they have on them. Just makes them a lot more comfortable to walk in. They're a really kind of just classic, simple heel. But they have this really gorgeous kind of a rope detailing that goes across your foot that kind of makes them that little bit more unique. I love the colour of them. This colour just goes with everything, you know. So they're nice and versatile. They actually have tons of really beautiful heels and sandals on their website. So definitely worth checking out. Okay, so the first dress I want to show you gives me massive Barbie vibes. And that's why I love it. Oh my goodness, is this like not perfection? I'm so obsessed with the color of this dress. This really beautiful deep but hot pink kind of a color is really on trend at the moment. I'm seeing it everywhere in all the stores and I'm here for it. <laughs> this one's called the Augusta Long Sleeve Mini Dress and it's in the color Magenta. I picked it up in a size small and I just love it. I think it's so, so beautiful. It's a really nice piece. I think you could wear out like after work if you're going out for Friday night drinks to a nice bar or you could wear it dress more down with some sandals and a cute little hat and wear it to like a daytime party. But I think it's so beautiful. It has this really gorgeous patterning to the fabric and it's all over it. It has a zipper at the back and it also has a shirt detailing to the back to give you a little bit more stretch if you need it. It also has a crossed over tie to the front so you can cinch it in a little bit tighter if you need to and I'm just obsessed. I think this is just such a beautiful feminine kind of a dress and I can't wait to wear it out. It would be so cute for a date night as well. So next up we have the Pissarro Frill Crop Top in Blush Pink. I am obsessed with this outfit. It like, it is so beautiful. Um, this one is like a really muted, sort of a pinky, peachy kind of a colour. I think it's showing up a little bit brighter on camera, but it's such a stunning colour. I think it would just be so fluttering on everyone. This is like what you want to be reaching for. I mean, it obviously comes with the matching skirt, which is what I'll be teaming it up with. But you could always team it up with some jeans or some little denim shorts and it would look super cute. It's very, very comfortable. It's lightweight and it's a nice kind of breathable fabric as well. So it's perfect to be wearing in the warmer weather. You're not going to feel sticky and sweaty and nasty in it. <laughs> I love all the little frills that it has all the way around the top and the bottom. It's a cropped length and oh my gosh, it's just so stunning. I just think it screams summertime, going out shopping with your friends, going for a walk along the beach somewhere. I picked this one up in a size small and it fits me really, really well. It's nice and comfortable. It's not too short on me either, which is really, really good. And I just think it's so stunning. And then we have the Pissarro Maxi Skirt in blush in a size small as well. So it's really, there's actually some weight to this. It's such good quality, really nicely made. I love the kind of tiered effect that it has and all the frills to it. It's just very boho vibes and it's just it's what you want to be wearing this spring and summertime to feel comfortable in but still really put together and stylish okay so i am about to run out this door but i thought i would give you a quick little outfit touch up you've already seen what's sort of on underneath but i then went ahead and chucked on this blazer by shein it was in one of my recent-ish hauls, I love this one. It's really kind of lightweight, but it's perfect for the springtime when it's kind of nice outside, but there's still a little bit of chill in the air. I've then teamed it up with this Princess Polly crossbody bag. This one's like a faux, kind of a shiny leather croc 
bag. Love this one. Um, and then I popped on these kind of a thong heeled shoes. These were from Kmart. And I love them. They're really kind of like low but comfortable to wear. And I had them in like every colour that they offered. Tan, black, white. I think that's all it came in. But yes, that is my look. I just went outside and it was, it's really nice and sunny, but it was still a little bit chilly. So I was like, yeah, I need to chuck on a little blazer. So that is the deal. Let's go. big mound of dirt delivered and I've just been backfilling our retaining walls here so I've done all the way along there so I'm puffed I've been trying to get this done as quick as I can and I've done up to there so I just have this bit over here to go luckily it's a nice day and it's allowing me to get it done pretty quickly so I just have all that area in there to do for this side and then we're going to move over into the backyard but yes that's what's happening today a few inches later alrighty so that is this section here done every time I try to like neaten up this area here the pile just keeps falling down on top of it so I'm not bothering with that right now but I got all along here done I didn't have any gardening gloves so I was using my hands and a brush and shovel to like neaten and flatten all the soil and I just did to that point there because then we need to remove the temporary fence to get through so pretty happy with that effort I am knackered like this was pretty deep so a lot of soil had to be put in there and I just know my back is going to be killing me tomorrow but it was a good workout I actually worked out on the treadmill before I did this so pretty sure I will have gotten all my steps in today, which is good. Okay guys, it has been a few hours since we last gardened together. I um, came inside and just got cleaned up and then I went around to one of my best friend's house and just hung out with her for a bit, had a coffee and then went and did the school and kinder run. Now we're home and I'm gonna whip up some bolognese for dinner, but I just wanted to close out this vlog here. We're not going to be doing a whole lot tonight. Well, actually, Tones and I will be out in the garden finishing off backfilling all of the retaining walls. So, yay, can't wait for that. <laughs> My back's already killing me, but we got to get it done. And the quicker we get it done, the quicker we can then get our grass and our plants and everything in and just have a functional backyard, which I can't wait for. So I need to insert some of the landscaping footage I grabbed of the guys working in our yard. Um, and what they did, what it was before and what it is now. They did a really good job and yeah, we're very happy with it. So that's good. Okay, the guys have just left. So they've got a fair bit done today. This is down the side of our house. They put in all those sleepers and this goes quite on an angle so they're going to build it all up with um, soil and make it all nice and level for us and then down the back of the house that's all going to be obviously leveled off and then this will continue all the way down and around Oh, I don't know if you can even hear me because of the wind. Maybe you can hear me better now, I hope. Here's Alabella. Um, and then we do want to concrete all the way out and back and wrap it right around to have a huge big entertaining area eventually. But yes, this is day one of our Renaults.
this looks like a different backyard. So we're on like day four now, I think. Oops, they nearly let Elfie out. And this is what it looks like. So good. So good. It looks like someone else's backyard. <laughs> so they've still got to smooth this area around here too. But oh my gosh, I can't believe how Wait, level it is. Because we need to put grass down here, baby. Are they going to do No, we're going to do roll out grass. Oh my gosh, I love it. They use their smoothing tools. And this is down the side of our house. So <laughs> there's a lot going on over here. But we're going to grass all this area here that leads down to the back and we're going to put a little kind of a gate situation here so we can put the guinea pigs out in this section and they're segregated from Alfie boy but yes this is our yard I'm so excited I just can't believe how much better it looks and bigger too when it's all flattened and looking good what do you think Alf? Do you like your yard? Yes. No, you can't go on there. Sorry, buddy. Oh, and I forgot to tell you about my little lunchy date I had at the winery. It was amazing. The venue was so beautiful. And I actually drive past there or near there, not past there, near there quite frequently. And I didn't even know it was there, which is crazy. So I definitely want to go back, maybe go for a date night or something. I'll link it down below for you guys. I can't actually remember what it was called. But I had the yummiest Moscato there and only really have a drink if I'm out on a date night or a girl's night or a function or something. Um, and I literally could have drunk the whole bottle. It was so delicious. Um, so yeah, definitely want to go back there again soon. But I'm probably going to go ahead and close out this vlog here. So thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out Petal and Pup's website and their Instagram. They have the most beautiful clothing and accessories and footwear. And use my code TRIBE20 for 20% off your order, which also includes sale items, which is amazing. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I love you all so very much and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye guys. Oh, oh, oh.